Instant noodles. Why do you think they're curly? Do they crimp them? Crimp them? Well, maybe that's the fashion that week, I don't know. <laughs> These days, we always seem to be in a hurry, and supermarkets are full of things to help us save time. Oh. <laughs> but none of them would exist without some brain-busting, high-tech stuff going on behind the scenes. Why do you reckon you might use a laser to grow veg? And make it bigger. Killing the bugs off? Well, that laser gun. Boom. <laughs> I'm going to reveal the secrets behind supermarket food we take for granted by making them food factory style. We've got used to having food that takes minutes, even seconds to prepare. But the science that makes that food possible is all hidden away. And most of us wouldn't get the chance to see inside a food factory. So I've set up my own supermarket production line inside this barn to show you how it's done. It may look as though it's full of junk, but there's everything I need to discover the secrets of the foods we turn to when we're in a rush and to uncover the technological tricks the food factories use to make our lives easier. Take squirty cream. The cream you don't even have to whip. But how much is in this can? Which one of these jars do you think it'll fill? That one? I can't say that one. You say that one. <laughs> Probably that one. I don't. Cool. No. That one. Let's <laughs> give it a go. Do this one as well. You said which one? All three jugs are filled from this one can. So how do you think that's happened? Oh, it's the aerosol, isn't it? Hairspray? Hairspray. Hairspray. <laughs> <laughs> Near enough, you're not a million miles away. Air. Air. Close. So how do they get all that cream and gas in a squirty cream can? Well, I'm going to find out by making my own. 